Welcome back to the channel, guys. You join us today in one of our warehouses in HQ, and one of the biggest questions and comments uh, that we get on our YouTube channel, on our Instagram, is where are all the cars? What do they all look like? Give us a garage tour. So today, even though we've got about, it's a little bit empty right now, we've got about 50 cars in here out of the 130 that we've got at the moment, uh, I'm gonna show you through. So, kicking things off with the F12, comfortable a little cruiser, good GT, McLaren Senna, this is one of three that we own in the collection. Uh, our semi kind of Rolls Royce wall here, Cullinan Series 2 Extended Wheelbase Phantom, Mansory Cullinan, and uh, Cullinan Black Badge. Uh, this one's on 26s, Forgiatos. The, the Cullinans are great trucks, they're great SUVs. Um, Rolls Royces are really cool for you know, kind of tooling around with friends nightclubs, restaurants, just having fun. It's a super, super uh, social setting when you're in one. A lot of laughs are always had uh, in Rolls Royces. Moving on to our kind of Ferrari wall, uh, SF90, Speciale Aperta, 812 Competizione and 812 GTS. Now the blue one is a tailor-made inspiration series. Um, it's Racione. Um, and the orange one is obviously a comp. Now, the special thing about the comp is it's actually painted in a Lamborghini color, which is a Rancho Borealis. Very, very funny meeting with TaylorMade when we, uh, we were specking that. They were asking us inspiration and what kind of specs we wanted. Um, and we told them we wanted a Lamborghini color. Uh, this was over Zoom at the time. Told them we wanted a Lamborghini color and the room went silent for what felt like a few minutes, it was a few seconds, and they kind of, they came around to the idea of painting a Ferrari in a Lambo color. Both great cars, super comfortable, but you've got that power as well. And they've got, both got straight pipe exhaust, so they absolutely scream. 488 Pista Spider, MC20 Celio Spider, so limited edition. Pretty cool car. This one's got a full wide body kit coming very shortly from Seven Design in New York. Um, great looking car. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. It's jury's still out on them. Obviously, they're quite expensive compared to 488s and F8s and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but good looking car. 458 Speciale to go with the Aperta and 296, basically a baby SF90. So a really cool combination of, of that V6 and electric power. Uh, that's black on red interior, no shields, carbon wheels. So a bit of a subtle-ish spec. Uh, moving on to some Lamborghinis. Um, we've got three Huracans, STO 60th edition, STO which matches the Lamborghini Ducati, which is here somewhere, uh, and Performante. So, to be honest with you, the STO is a much better car, I understand it came out a lot later. Um, but yeah, the all-wheel drive Huracan's pretty dull in the front end, in terms of response um, as a driver, but the STO is really, once, you've, once they converted it to rear-wheel drive, it really frees up the agility behind them, and they sound fantastic. This one, uh, Beyond Custom, Shop here in Western Australia, customize that full 1016 body kit uh, and a VF engineering supercharger. That's, that's, that's running about 850 horsepower. And it was white and then we painted it pink because why not? Uh, 765, arguably one of the best cars you can buy for, if you want a driver's car, uh, aside from an RS model. F8 Spider, 1016 parts. We like to kind of customize cars here in, in, in the collection. Uh, red interior means you must do red wheels. Uh, this is an AMR. V8 Vantage, this is a V12 Vantage. Um, this one is matte white from the factory uh, and then red interior. So pretty cool, pretty bold. Uh, and then we have a sister car to it, which kind of yin and yang, uh, which is a DBS 770 convertible. That's matte black and an all blue interior. So, you know, bright interiors, having fun with different colors and that kind of stuff is, is what it's all about. Um, this has got a Quicksilver exhaust as well, straight through, so it sounds tremendous. Um, Huracan Spider, 60th anniversary, cool little color, blue Le Mans, uh, SLR MSO edition, so that's kind of homage to Daniel Ricciardo, famous WA uh, F1 driver. Audi R8, that too has a VF engineering supercharger, so 850 horsepower, that's the RWS, so the rear wheel drive version. Uh, that's a lot of fun, that thing screams. Lamborghini Cyan or Cyan, however you'd like to pronounce it. 911 Speedster, Aventador uh, S, which is about to be twin turboed. Countach, um, which is effectively the sister, better looking sister to the Cyan. Uh, GTC4 Lusso, Novatec, uh, parts and exhaust, that kind of stuff. This is another Phantom Extended Wheelbase Series 2. So this is the Plat Platino model, special edition. It's all white and then the interior is um, a very, very special 
kind of gray and very uh, funky materials used inside. I love the dinner plate wheels. They are uh, a big throwback and when you're on the move, those look sick. Uh, Maybach GLS 600, controversial uh, spec that we went, but just a bit of fun. DBS 770, so like I said before, we've got a DBS 770 convertible and a 770 coupe. So they're great cars actually, and are really, really fast. GTAM, which is a fantastic car, P1, a few more Rolls Royces, uh, a couple of Elvas, so this is all carbon, exposed carbon, sorry, uh, and a matte orange painted one, again, a homage to Daniel Ricciardo. Uh, yeah, two Rolls Royces in the back, uh, prior design 458 and Mansory F8 Spider. But guys, we're here to see our latest acquisition. Well, I say that, we've had it for about, or well, Lawrence has had it for about four years now, um, and it blew up, unfortunately. The engine let go, I think uh, from memory, it's a two liter engi engine from uh, the GTI, Volkswagen Golf, and it blew up, unfortunately. So, the mad scientist Leon from Beyond Custom took it all apart and basically has turned it into a diabolical monster that really uh, is too crazy, too crazy for the street. Um, so yeah, what I think we should do is, because you guys, you, you absolutely have to hear this. I think we hop in and uh, go for a bit of a drive. Again, we've got a few speedsters in the collection. We've got an Aston V12 speedster. Um, we have uh, Speed Legend, which is the AMG GTR Pro uh, with the roof cut off. Uh, but I have to tell you, this is the most fun and the most craziest and entertaining and engaging uh, speedster out of them all. This is hilarious. So I say we head up to Beyond Custom. I'll introduce you to Leon. He's a lot more technical than I am, but I know so far the cliff notes are a forged Golf R engine, uh, upgraded turbos, obviously, and nitrous uh, for some reason, because that, you know, why not, I guess. So yeah, let's hop in. I'll attempt to hop in. This is gonna be very embarrassing on camera, but I will <laughs> hop in. Start it up for you. The turbo whistles are incredible on this thing. Oh. Oh. All right, let's, uh, all right. So it's a pretty easy sequence to start up. That was, I, I practiced that uh, entry before I got on camera. And we'll fire it up here. Ah, there we go. Oof. So as you can see, or here, that, uh, yeah, it's, it's a machine. It's a death trap in many ways, or feels like it's a death trap, but here we go. So everyone, you join me now here, sitting inside the KTM Expo. And uh, the first thing that comes to mind is this thing is an absolute death trap. And uh, what am I doing in my life sitting behind the wheel? Uh, incredibly intimidating here, incredibly uh, raw inside. In front of me on the steering wheel, I have a display readout that gives you all the telemetry and, and, and appropriate data that you would need to operate the car. There's a secondary screen on the dashboard here. Next to that is the nitrous purge button, which is pretty cool. It does have a six speed manual here. So for those purists out there, something like this does still exist for you. Fundamentally, the overall feeling is that uh, very much similar to a go-kart. We're open top right here, enjoying the elements. I've got exposed linkages, suspension hardware, and the wheels in front of me off to left and right side. And uh, yeah, look, it is a very different experience to the regular speedsters that we have, the Elvas. Um, the V12 Aston Speedster, um, and the Speed Legend. Behind me is where all the fun is. That intake and that wastegate from the turbo is tremendous. So you guys need to hear, absolutely have to hear the noises that this thing makes. Uh, but yeah, we'll take off easily. Even at low RPM, as you can uh, hear, Fantastic noises behind me. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, a lot of theatre, even at low speeds. Very engaging. Right, here we go. It's so good. 
understand 300,000 for something like this is, is certainly no small feat and still very expensive but in terms of in terms of its miles per miles this thing certainly leads the pack out of all of them Be on custom and have a chat to Leon. to Beyond Custom here in Bullsbrook, where I have the mad scientist and specialist here, Leon, uh, who basically built a lot of what's on the car here. Now, cosmetically, uh, not too much. It is exposed carbon from, from KTM, aside from a few bits and pieces that, that Leon and his team uh, put on. But where the magic really is, and why I want to kind of get his thoughts, because obviously he's a lot more mechanically uh, minded than I am, is where the fun is, in the back of the car, where the engine is. So, Leon, Everybody, everybody, Leon, run us through Leon. What have we got going on here? So in the back, we've basically turfed out the old Mark 7, or the Mark 5 motor. Yep. Um, and fitted in the uh, EA 888 Golf 7 motor, which is the Gen 3, the, the, the more refined motor. Mm -hmm. And on top of that, we've ordered the full Bartek internal forged uh, kit for it. Okay. So, full bottom end, top end, head. Cams are still standard because they're a high lift. We mechanically locked them into high lift. Um, we've gone with a, a G30 Garrett turbocharger. Okay. Which is what that noise is right in between the seats. Yeah, she's a pretty noisy turbo on, yep. on, on induction. So, and uh, just for a little bit of extra fun, we've, we've fitted a um, twin bottle nitro system to it. So. Because that's exactly what we needed. That's what we needed, yeah. We like the power, so. Yeah. Um, so in stock form, maybe what, like 240 horsepower? I think so, yeah. And they're, they're actually pretty highly strung standard, um, but the turbos, the factory turbo maxes out okay. um, pretty quickly. So when we've had to redo everything from the fuel, the fuel system in the tank to the, the DI pump on the motor, um, port injectors, um, it's running a MoTeC system to control that's everything. That's yep. Yeah, just to have full control over, over every aspect. Um, the start-stop start, start stop controls are, are run by the MoTeC. The aim steering wheel is all CAN bus, so we can see all live data on um, different screens, however much information we want mm -hmm. at any one time. And to make that sort of power, we, we need that sort of control. So obviously, we, you know, this car does get tracked, yep. so it's good to have telemetry on board and all the data logging. So we data log all channels available, mm -hmm. um, which is, is quite important for a, for a setup like this. So. Definitely. And so now, what are we uh, what are we looking at pushing right now? How, mu how much power do we have right now? So with, on 30 psi, which we can go higher. So we've capped it at 30 psi at the moment, and uh, 50 shot of nitrous wet, um, 469 at the rears. So 469 horsepower at, right. at the rear wheels, at the, at the tires. Wheels. Okay. Yeah. That's so why it's. Uh, a manic car. Yeah, she's 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 a bit of a weapon. So. Yeah, thirty-five tail lights as well. R thirty-five tail lights. Yeah, yep. that was actually the first mod we did okay. before before the main engine mod. So 
And this exhaust system you guys built as well? Yeah, yeah, okay. Steve built it all in-house. We water jet, water bracket tree, and we just went sort of with the teardrop tips. It was actually Steve's idea, which looked good because it good. sort of complemented everything and sort of blended in with the tail lights. It so does. Just to get the flow that we need because the half exhaust that was still on the car wouldn't flow. So. Okay. Is there anything that you would, not that it needs more power, but is there anything that you would want to see Lawrence put in? I think we can go a bigger nitro shop. Okay. But I think, considering no one's willing to use it yet. Brave enough. Yeah. Because <laughs> um, the nitro shot just cleans up the power quite a bit, which makes it a lot crisper. So yeah. I reckon we're not really into the huge power with the nitrous. We could, we could go on like up to 100 shot just to give it a much harder feel. But and it's not like the Fast and the Furious where you've got a button that you push in there. No. You explained to me in text message, but I didn't really get it. Yep. How is it, how is it incorporated within the system? So the, the Motex controlling the whole thing. So we're yep. basically um, activation switch. We've got electronic bottle openers because obviously the bottles are hidden. Mm -hmm. So uh, open and close, and we've just set parameters. Um, so after 15 psi of a boost, after 5,000 RPM and above 85% of throttle, the computer will activate the nitrous. So okay. you pretty much just activate it, open the bottles, and the computer does the rest. Um, the computer's seeing a lot of parameters, fuel pressure, nitrous bottle pressure, a lot of different things to make sure that Calculate, yep. those um, parameters are right for it to activate. And if those parameters are right, then the nitrous will activate. So, so it kind of incorporates into, so you, you flick it on and then no buttons, as I said before. No, but no, just no kind fast of, and furious buttons. Yeah. Just but it just runs in the background and yep. Yep. adds more power. Adds more power. Um, obviously it brings the inlet charge down a little bit. Um, it's got a huge water to air intercooler system on this, but on the track, obviously it will still get heat soak. Yep. So, yeah, as long as the Motex is a safeguard, basically, to gotcha. make sure that everything's good with the motor. Um, there's a whole bunch of mapping attached to that to make sure it's all fine, yep. including knock. Uh, knock and ignition retard, so it does retard the ignition mm -hmm. as the nitrous is coming on. So there's a whole lot of parameters just to make sure that it's a seamless, nice. a seamless horsepower add. So. Cool. Well, you've created an insane, insane machine here. Thank you for uh, your time on camera. That's all right. And uh, there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. This is the uh, KTM Expo.